Well, when I was your age, I could eat whatever I wanted. And when I eat carbohydrate, my muscles would just get big. And now I just store fat. What do I do? That's probably because you're getting older, but there's a way to fix that. Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Man, you know all those old folks say, well, when you get my age, you won't be able to eat what you eat now. When you get my age, you're going to lose all whole of your gains. When you get my age, your metabolism just slows down, and they're kind of right. They're kind of right. And I've been looking this up, doing some research on it, because I'm 42. I know you're saying, Mark, Mark, I know. You're not a day over 23. I know. I look really young. It's because I, you know, I, I, I exfoliate. I, I take a bunch of HGH, a bunch of good stuff, but no, no, for real, for real though. I'm not the liver king. Um, for real. He doesn't exfoliate. I don't think he exfoliates. Let's talk about what happens when you age. So insulin resistance for people aged 40 to 59 can get up to 60%. The prevalence of people having insulin. So think about this. 60%. Of those age 40 to 59 have insulin resistance. In people 20 to 39, it's about 20%. Over the age of 75, it's about 75%. It's a lot of insulin resistant people. Now, it, it, it might not all be due to age. And I can argue, and I'll argue later. Hold on, hold on. Over the age of 40, okay. About an 8%, 8 to 10, somewhere percent loss of muscle per decade. So if you start at 40 at this much muscle, each 10 years, at 50, it's down 10%. At 60, it's down 10%. By age 70, your muscles are 30% smaller than age 20. Strength loss is about 40% per decade after the age of 40. That's right, it's up to 40%. Muscle size lost is about 10% per decade over 40. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually go over this. Now, yes, shit happens when you age. Hormones drop, okay? And also people get lazy. I'm just being real. Like, So when you're in your 20s, like you're on the hunt, right? A lot of people like me, I married my high school sweetheart. I wasn't hunting for anything, but like you're on the hunt, like it's primal. You want to be lean. You want to be in shape. You want to look good. And then you get married. And I see this all the time. And this is no disrespect to my peers, my fellow soccer dads, my fellow football dads, my fellow wrestling dads. No, no shade thrown at you at all but y'all are fat and lazy. You just fucking are. You stand on the sideline, rest your hand on your big ass belly, and your wife is over there. She's trying, man. She's going to Lifetime Fitness every morning. She's doing the boot camps. She's getting the Botox. You know, she's doing the booty lifts, and she's out. She, she's really, but you, you gave up because next to you in bed is a vagina every night, and you know, she, she might be in the mood. She might not, but you, you know, you're, you're fat. Your sex drive is pretty low. So you're like, I'm good. You have no drive and that's fine. But at the end of the day, that's what happens. We get comfortable. We get complacent because we know that there are ways to prevent this insulin sensitivity. You want to know a good way. I'm not going to go into the science behind glute four and all this crazy stuff. One good way to prevent muscle wasting. I know you're, you're thinking, I'm, this guy's a pro bodybuilder. We know where he's going. You're goddamn right. You know where I'm going. It's weight training. High intensity weight training. Loading the muscles. Heavy weights. Deadlifts. Bench. Squat. Hell, don't do those. Get on the machine. So how do you prevent this? Well, insulin sensitivity, insulin sensitivity is increased greatly and anti-diabetic effects increased greatly by weight training, by resistance training. And no, it doesn't have to be powerlifting weights. Go in there and challenge yourself. Make it so for the last, uh, the last rep, like you have about, it's called RIR, reps in reserve. The last two to three reps, your face is like this. 
and you're that means you've reached that level where you're straining and that's good that means you're activating stuff that means you're building muscle that means you're doing awesome stuff um one of my good friends gary rinal he's one of the guys behind the mark pro um which is a great stim unit i still have a coupon code there it's coupon code lowbliner if you like them. i'm not selling that here um, I'm just telling you, he's, that's who he is. Um, Gary, his claim to fame was he was one of the first people to put old people on Nautilus. He put them on resistance training. You had people who could barely walk being able to jog again. You had people who could barely stand being able to walk again. You had this crazy stuff just from resistance training. Cause as you get old, something happens. That's called sarcopenia. That's muscle wasting. So that prevents that muscle provides your body with a way for your carbs to know how to be used. Your body uses those carbs, the intramuscular glycogen stores, the GLUT4 receptor, which again, we're not gonna dive into that, but think about it. You can look it up if you want. At the end of the day, weight training is the key. Now that's not saying cardiovascular health isn't a key. When you walk, when you exercise, when you stay active, your body's moving nutrients, it's driving things, it's going all over the place. And it's really activating different processes in the body. It's making you healthy, making you fit, making your oxygen consumption better. And I'm always trying my best to make sure that my body can uptake carbs. And one thing I always do is I take nutrient driver, <laughs> you like that? A nutrient driver, um, it's, an, it's a glucose disposal agent. It does what it says. You guys might have heard of berberine. It's actually comparable, if not better, in studies than metformin. It also has Chromax, which has dozens and dozens of studies, Banaba, R alpha lipoic acid, and Genema extract. And it's the greatest glucose pulls agent. So I take this two caps two times a day. This does help with blood sugar control, insulin sensitivity, and again, it helps your body know what to do with carbs. Our initial tagline for this is make carbs great again. But back to the whole muscle wasting thing. At the end of the day, if you are aging, there's no better time to continue or to start weight training. Now, how often? Now, benefits can be seen with as little as one time a week. I'm going to argue that for most people, three to five times a week is optimal. So in the other times, if let's say you don't like weight training, that's fine. That's all good. What you can do is pretty simple. You can do sprints. The thing is high intensity interval training, it activates similar responses in the body as does weight training. So you can do it where you're sprinting three to four times a week, two to three times a week, one time a week. Everybody always looks at starting and going to the optimal level. That's not how it works. If you are a sedentary person who has exercised in a while, go to the gym once a week and do a full body movement. The rest of the week, just go on a 30 minute walk after dinner. Then maybe in two, three weeks, you've adapted to it. You're not getting as sore. Go two times a week, then three times a week. And then maybe find a hobby. Maybe you go three times a week and you play pickup basketball or you play pickleball. That's a thing now. I had no fucking idea. I still don't know what the hell goes on in pickleball, but it looks pretty fun. I might try it. Go, go do things, move, be active. So let me go back to insulin resistance is prevalent. So 40%, 40 to 50, uh, so 40% in 40 to 59 year olds and 60%. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. 40 to 59 is 40% to 60%. 20 to 39 is 20%. I'd like to compare that to the obesity rate. I am sure there is a direct correlation between insulin sensitivity and the obesity rate. I think people are just fat and lazy and that's what's causing syndrome X and that's what's causing people to have slower metabolisms as well as higher levels of insulin resistance. So over age of 40, 8% loss of muscle per decade. Guarantee you those people are inactive, not working out. Why? Because they have a mortgage. They have a job. They have kids who play sports and have practice every day at 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m. Okay, strength loss. Again, look at that. 40% after age of 40. Think about it. Think about it. That's the same as the obesity rate. So, heavy movements stress the body 
load, load, load. And if you can't load, if let's say you live in the middle of nowhere and you just don't like weights or whatever, sprint. Another option, get resistance bands. Resistance bands are great. Look, I don't like them that much. I like lifting iron. You know, I'm from the old school. I like lifting, I like lifting actual weights. I just do. Okay. But if you don't have access to a gym, if you don't have access to weights, these are a great option. I'm going to link some down below. We sell Tiger Fitness and you could buy those. Okay. They're called stretch training bands. Those are an option. Anyway, guys, that's the advice I have. You don't have to get old, weak, and fat. There is a way you can do that. And also, I would like to implore you to make sure you get blood work done. If you're a male over the age of 30, 35, 40, your testosterone could be dipping. And you might be a candidate for testosterone replacement therapy. I currently take 150 milligrams of testosterone a week. And I keep my testosterone levels around 1,000. If you look online, that's normal range. Normally, it's around 400 to 1,200. I think most people list that. I like to keep mine at high normal. That's a thousand. So I have a great doctor. A lot of general practitioners don't know what they're doing. So if there's no one in your area, my doctor at Hormone Health and Wellness will help you out. They work with anybody in the United States. And this is the year 2022, about to be 2023, where you don't have to live by your doctor. I haven't gone to a doctor in forever other than my physical. If I have something wrong with me, I just do the uh, doctor online. It's called um, uh, Doctors on Demand or Live Health perfect. So this is the same idea, but this guy gets what they'll do at hormone health and wellness. They'll order your blood work. You know, they'll, um, they'll, they'll evaluate it and they'll choose a route that's best for your health and what you want to do with your life. So I'm going to link that down below hormone health and wellness. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, product mentioned in this video, nutrient driver, make carbs great again. It's a glucose disposal agent, 25% hunger reduction. It does help to reduce hunger due to blood sugar cravings. Um, 26% decreasing fasting insulin. It's, it's a great product. Anyway, guys, give it a shot. I'm Mark Lobliner. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell. And remember, that's not a game. I used to have to go through dozens of bottles of vitamins, of supplements, just to get what I need. Look, I'm busy. I'm running multiple businesses. I'm coaching. I'm a professional bodybuilder, getting ready for my first pro show. I don't have time to sit there and do all that. I gotta go. I'm on the go all the time. That is why I created MTS Nutrition Immortal. Here's how they look. This, all it takes, this replaces dozens of bottles of supplements. So let me tell you exactly what this has. It has probiotics, greens, liver detox, joint support, cardiovascular support, and the most complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement ever created. If you have a busy life or you simply want more time to do the things you love and be able to travel by just taking one simple little pack with you, Immortals for you.